Okay, so I thought today I would talk about my academic journey and basically how from high school to undergrad to grad school, all the things that happened to get me to where I am now. Excuse the sound over there from Jerry. He's moving rocks and if you hear snoring, that's Abbott sleeping, so apologies. All right, so. When I was in high school, I was like this total hippie at heart. I wore like tie dye and I drove a Prius for goodness sake. As a high schooler, that was what I wanted with a whole bunch of bumper stickers that talked about how important solar energy is and that we all live downstream or whatever that bumper sticker is. And so I was a true hippie at heart, but I also was really interested in helping people and I was really interested in going into medicine and being pre-med. And so I spent my entire high school career um, volunteering at the Services for Brain Injury Center over in my hometown and at one of the hospitals over there. I even like got a stethoscope, I think, for Christmas. I was really committed and my family was super supportive and said that I would make a great doctor. And... Um, so I was like also very impressionable and I knew I was super impressionable and I thought that my life as a doctor would be like Meredith Grey from Grey's Anatomy, which I watched every week with all my friends. And so that was what I thought my life was going to be like. And then I actually actually chose UC Irvine as um, the place to go for undergrad because they had such a strong uh, pre-med biology department and program. So I went to UC Irvine and I had one quarter while I was there that was so difficult. I took genetics, OCHEM, and physics in a single quarter. It was fall quarter and at the end, I remember going home and I had basically failed pretty much because anything below a C minus you have to retake. I had basically failed every single class I had taken that quarter except for one of my classes. And so the department told me I had to change my major because my chemistry grade, my chemistry overall GPA was too low. And so, of course, I went home for Christmas break and was just in tears all of break because I was like, what am I going to do? I thought this is what I was going to do for my whole life. And I was just destroyed. And then I realized that I could change my major to earth and environmental sciences change to the School of Physical Sciences and do something that was a little bit more honestly what was reflective of who I was as a person and what I was probably more inclined to do anyways. And so I changed my major and ended up having to take more physics in that major. So that was a little bit of a bummer. But I started to volunteer at the Arboretum and got really close to the people that worked and ran the Arboretum, started to do uh, research in the freshwater uh, and brackish marshes of the San Joaquin Reserve, which is part of the UC Natural Reserve System, which was super cool, and had the most incredible mentor, Dr. Peter Bowler, and we are still in con contact and share our marsh photos back and forth and check in on each other all the time. So, I really attribute a lot of my success as an undergrad to his mentorship, and it really prepared me for graduate school. And uh, during this time, I also got scuba certified and was really into diving and couldn't decide whether or not I was going to do terrestrial ecology or marine ecology, and I was really torn. And so then when I moved back home, Abby, you're snoring so loud. So I applied to grad school as a fourth year at UC Irvine and I didn't get into grad school and I realized it was because I did not have enough experience to qualify me for grad school. And so I spent my entire year off gaining as much experience as possible. So I got a GIS certificate certificate from San Francisco State University, which is basically GIS is is basically just um a way to analyze uh, and visualize spatial data. So Google Earth, if you play with Google Earth in a way, sort of, that's sort of like GIS. Um, and so I got that certificate. I started volunteering at the California Academy of Sciences, which was awesome. And uh, I got to eat at this awesome co-op bakery right outside of Golden Gate Park. I mean, this was like the life. I got a uh, dive master certified. I started working in Elkhorn Slough and it was all just 
fabulous and the best time. And I just had all this energy and was just a sponge to everything I could get exposed to. And it was probably like the best time of my life besides grad school. Anyways, and so then I applied to grad school to work in Elkhorn Slough, which was the perfect compromise for me because it, it met my cravings to study both terrestrial and marine ecology because Elkhorn Slough is an estuary and it's at the land sea interface. And so you get to experience both terrestrial ecology and marine ecology in one single system. So it was perfect. And that's when I uh, started grad school and the rest is history. And so I just thought I'd share that because there's some failures in there and I think it's really important to be super honest about those things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you would like to, um, you know, comment below about things that some hardships you're going through or some failures you've had that are uh, hard to overcome or making it difficult for you to have the confidence to keep on pursuing your dreams. I'd love to facilitate a dialogue on that and to be your, um, your cheerleader. So we're not going to get an end of the video clip with Abbott because he's sound asleep. So for now, we'll just say, uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.